Alright, my name is Narissa and this is my video for my chest tube uh, dressing change. So the first thing I would do is I'm going to check my orders and I'm going to check my patient. Uh, that is, she is Jennifer Doe and her she has no known allergies. Um, I would m make sure, just to make sure she wasn't allergic to any of the solutions or any cleaning agents that I would be doing during her dressing change. Um, and then I would go ahead and I would wash my hands. Or, no, I'm going to gather my supplies first. So supplies that I have is I have clean gloves, um, hand sanitizer. I have tape just for a label to label the dressing when I'm finished. I have the tape for the dressing change. Sterile gloves. I have some cover sponges, drain sponges, Vaseline gauze, some um, cotton tip sw swabs, skin prep, a sterile container, and then sterile, a bottle of sterile uh, solution. And then I also have a biohazard bag here for any of the garbage that I'll need for the old dressing. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash my hands before entering the room. And then I'm gonna knock, 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 and I'm gonna provide for some privacy. I'm gonna say, hi Jennifer, my name is Marissa, and I'm gonna be doing your uh, chest tube dressing change today. Can you please tell me your name and date of birth? And checking her armband, she would say, uh, Jennifer Doe, 11 5 1975 and I would check that. Jennifer Doe, 11 5 1975 All right, everything matches and looks good. Um, have you had your dressing change done before? And she says, yep, she's had it done. Okay, so you know what to expect when I'm doing this. And she says, yep. So then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands again. some clean gloves here. <laughs> Sorry, taking forever to put my gloves on. Once my gloves are on, then I'm going to view her dressing here. Jennifer, I'm just going to pull your gown back a little bit, I'm trying to keep her covered as much as possible. <laughs> so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the dressing. When I'm removing this, I'm going to anchor the tube in place and I'm going to pull the tape from around. And keeping the tube anchored. And then this will go into a biohazard bag, but before doing that, I'm gonna check um, if there's any drainage and I would assess the color, if there was odor, the consistency, and the amount that there was. Uh, so then I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my biohazard bag. And then I'm going to remove this. All right, and then I'm gonna assess the wound itself, and I'm going to assess for if there's any redness, edema, ecchymosis, again, drainage, and uh, the approximation of the wound if that has any changes to it. I would also feel around, and I'm going to feel if there's any crepitus or subcutaneous emphysema. Um, when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and remove my gloves. I'm going to wash my hands again. And I'm going to put back on another pair of clean gloves. Alright, and so for this part, I'm going to need this, 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 and this. And I'm going to open my sterile water here. And I'm going to open my sterile container and I'm going to pour some in there. Cover back on. And then using clean technique here, I'm going to take my cotton swabs out and I'm going to put them right in there. And then the garbage. Alright, and then once 
them all set, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take cotton swabs and I'm going to cleanse the area. I'm going to put this away, grab my other ones. Cleansing the area, put those away. Then I'm going to take my skin prep, I would open it, and I would place around where the wool would be. That would go into the garbage. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove these gloves. This aside. All right. And before I put my stove gloves on, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up my stove gloves and Vaseline just to have it ready. So I open it up. Open my gloves, throw that away. On, and then I can throw this away. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my Vaseline gauze here. I'm going to make this my clean hand, right? Yep, I'm going to make this my clean hand and this my sterile hand. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the tube and then I'm going to go ahead and put my Vaseline gauze around the dressing there and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my 4x4 four four gauze keeping sterile technique one one way and another another way and then I'm going to grab my sterile gauze. I'm going to put that in place. This is my clean hand again. All right. And then these, my hands won't be considered sterile anymore, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my tape. And when I'm grabbing my tape, I'm gonna make sure I'm going to keep it as sterile as possible. I'm not going to um, touch the middle of my tape, just on the edges here. I'm going to pull tight, put one on, and I'm going to do my next one. And again, it's stacked. Again, not touching the center and just the edges. I'm going to go ahead and put my second piece of tape down. And then I'm gonna do my last piece here. When I'm finished with putting on the tape, I am gonna then uh, label my dressing and I'm gonna label it with the date, my initials and the time that I did it. So that's when here I could go ahead and I could use this tape, place it on and do the labeling. When I'm done with that, I will remove my gloves. I'm gonna remove my gloves. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands right away. I'm gonna 
dispose of my supplies, throw everything away that needs to go in the garbage or uh, the, like the dressing needed to go in the biohazard bag. And then I would ensure, I'll put my client back together here. I would ensure patient safety by lowering the bed. And I would put the head of the bed at a semi-fibers position to help with the draining of the chest tube. Um, when I'm done with that, I would wash my hands before leaving the room. And once I leave the room, I would document any uh, assessment findings I found while doing the dressing change, such as the drainage and whatnot, and the characteristics of the wound itself. And then after that, um, that would be it.